Is it really 2019 already? Hmm. All right. This is going to be a new video for going over Kega Things UI installation for 2019. Uh, yeah. So here we go. <clears throat> when you first log in, after you put the two folders in your interface and add ons, you're going to be presented exactly like this. No matter what class you're on, it's going to look like this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit next, read this text, hit apply, next, hit apply, next, and then you're done. If you have any issues, you are more than welcome to join our Discord by clicking this button right here. Hit complete and you will be forced into a reload to apply and set everything in stone. And then Illidan will come in, you know, yeah, okay. So once you install the CVARs, chat, and um, settings, and database, and everything will be set. And this will start you on your journey with Kega Thinks UI. The first thing you're going to want to do after you install it is play around with it, see how you like it so far. And then a lot of people like to customize UIs, so you can customize this UI to a certain extent. This isn't th anything like LVUI. You're not going to be able to like precisely move things. You're not going to be able to uh, move individual action bars. It's grouped, so that's different and stuff like that. So, But that doesn't make this a bad UI. This UI is different from any UI out there. Uh, my goal here is to make a clean, straight UI that you can just pop in and be ready to go after you install it. So if you hit escape, you will see the Kega Things UI button. Click it, and you have all these settings. I'm not going to go over all these settings right now. They're common sense. If you hover over them, they will tell you what's going on. And if one doesn't, I just haven't added the local for it. Um, so basically, you go through this, blah, 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 blah. Click what you want, enable it, and then you need to hit apply. Once we're re reloaded, we can go in and look at the setting we've enabled. So if you go in here, you can see we enabled this setting. <laughs> If you need help with the UI, there is a command, help UI. I do plan to improve on this, but this is just kind of, you know, the basics. If you want to copy one of your profiles that you have, say that you're logging into a new character, you need to type slash profile list, and it will give you your list and I have profile one so I will type slash profile again and one then hit enter if you're like me and you have a lot of alts and you're gonna have a lot of profiles happening you can do slash profile well delete and then one well Sorry, I lied. You can't do that. You need to bring up profile list first so it knows what's in there. And then hit uh, delete one. We're back at the basic installation now. So, that's that. There is a button on chat. Two buttons on chat. You can copy chat. And you can uh, hit the quick menu. So you have status, install, move UI, action bar, lock, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <clears throat> really, there's nothing else to go over with uh, this video. I do plan to make other videos in the future of uh, features of the UI and um, going over certain things about the UI. And I might do videos in the future of like upcoming um, features and stuff and uh, explaining the future of Kega Thinks UI. Other than that, this is just that basic video of how to install it. If you like it, uh, leave a like. If you have any questions, please do comment. I will reply back as soon as I can. And if you enjoy the UI, 
I appreciate it. Don't forget to drop by our Discord and say thank you or come hang out with us.